Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly tutorials on Minecraft, Roblox, Scratch, web programming, and many more. Today we'll learn how to build a castle in Minecraft using JavaScript. So as you can see, this is the structure that we're going to be building. And um, it has four walls and on the, each corner there is a castle or a mini tower. And to build the tower, to build the castle, all you need to do is stand to anywhere you want to place a castle, look at the ground, and type slash JS castle like this. And if you wait a second, um, the castle should start building itself. So you see the door being made, the walls are being formed, and um, the towers are being created. So yeah, let's get started. We'll begin the project by writing our function in subline text. Here, we can first create our first file. So here we go to file, new file, and we can actually save it right now. So we can go to file, save as, and where we want to save it is actually where we store our Spicot's server file. So here I can go to my desktop, I have it saved inside of Spagot 1.10.2. And I've also installed Scriptcraft, so I'm going to go into plugins. Next to Scriptcraft, I'm just going to save this as castle.java, so .js. And make sure the save as type is all files. I'm going to click Save. So now anything right here can be used in our Minecraft server. So the first thing we have to do is to write down a function. A function is a set of instructions for the computer to follow. So if you name our function castle with an empty parameter, so there's no inputs required, this means that this is a function called castle that when we call on, will run the following instructions. So we want to set this castle to a function. So we set it equal to a function. And we still don't have any user input, so we keep the parameters as empty. Another thing before we start writing the function is we want to export it. Before writing the function, we want to export the function. By exporting function, we can actually use the function inside of a Minecraft server. So here we just write exports. And now anything we type inside of this bracket called block, will be executed when the function castle is uh, run. So inside of our function, we first want to say build the walls. And to build a wall, we use a cylinder. And we'll be using the cylinder zero here. And the reason we write zero at the end is because it creates a hollow um, cylinder, which means that there's going to be four walls outside with nothing in the middle. So the parameters for cylinder zero is the type of block width, height. So the first thing we want to do is put down the blocks in the first parameter. So here I'll use blocks.brick.red. That's my blocks for uh, the walls. I want the walls to be 10 blocks wide and five blocks tall. And if we imagine a drone building our castle, the drone will first build a cylinder that is hollow using bricks that are 10 blocks wide and five blocks tall. And we can actually relocate the drone to build more stuff in a different location. And we do that by simply writing right, left, up, forward, or down. So here we're going to move the drone seven blocks to the right and also move it forward by seven blocks. Now I want to build an empty box that will be shown as a castle and a tower on the, each side of the corner. So here I'm going to write box zero. Inside the box zero, I have four parameters, blocks, width, height, and depth. So the blocks will be blocks.cobblestone. I want to build it using cobblestone. I want to be seven blocks wide five blocks tall and seven blocks depth. And here width and depth is pretty much 
uh, very similar. We want them to be symmetrical, so we want them to be the same. Now, I want to move up and build my second floor and the roof. So I'm going to say dot up. I'm going to move five blocks up. Once I've moved five blocks up, I want our drone to build a box that is not empty. So here I will use box. And the blocks I'm going to use is going to say blocks.slab.stone break. I want this box to be seven blocks wide, one block tall, and seven blocks back. Now it's time to build our floor for the second floor. So here I'm going to use a hollow box. I'm going to build the hollow box using a fence material of oak. Here I want the width to be seven, height again to be one, width again to be seven. Now it's time to build the door. So we're going to move back down by five blocks. And after that, I'm going to also move to the right by three blocks. And here I'm going to make space for the door. So I'm going to write box blocks.air. That will remove anything that's currently at that spot. And I'll use the same dimension as a door, which is one block wide, two blocks high, and one block deep. And now I can move back the drone by seven blocks and put down our doors. So here I'm going to write box. And the block number, we can actually use um, by looking up the block number. In case of a door, we find that the block number is 196. So we can simply write 196. And then the width should be one, height should be two, and the depth should be one. And that will end our whole instructions. And this one line of code will actually build the whole castle for us. So let's see um, how that works. So let's just go to files and save. And here to boot up the server, we can actually go to terminal or command prompt. So I'm gonna type in command. Go into command prompt. And when you're activating the server, you should use your personal ID. So to find your ID, you can do one or two things. You can first write IP config. And here, your IP address will be located under IPv4 address. And so this is going to be my local address when I host the server. Another way to look at it is go on any web browsers and simply type in my IP address. And as you can see, my public IP is the same as what is shown over here. Once you have the IP, you can start to boot up the server. So to do that, we want to go to the file where you have all your server files at. So I'm gonna go to the folder desktop, spec at 1.10.2. So now I have entered this folder and to start up the server, I simply write Java or dash Java jar. And to enter the server, I type Java dash jar space the name of the file. So it's spagot dash 1.10.2.jar. And when I press enter, the server will start to boot up. And, um, and anyone could join the server using this public IP right here. So once the library has finished loading, it will load up the world. And um, yeah, once you enter the server, you can type castle with an empty parameter and then it will actually do it. So it is still booting up. Yep, and it is done. So to run the Java program, you can enter the game and type slash JS castle brackets and close brackets. And this code will um, start to build the castle in front of you. So that is all for today. We learned how to make a castle using JavaScript and Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.